So, um, yeah, I guess I think I'll break something down. I was just hanging out with one of my good friends, and, um, I'm starting to realize how incredibly important it is to have, like, at least one close friend that you could open up to about anything. Um, oh, gosh, that was a loud one. The only problem that we have in our community is that having good friends is very rare. Losing people is very common. And also, we have a lot of trust issues with people. Because we are very used to people abandoning us, leaving us, hurting us, abusing us, causing us to feel not so good about ourselves. So, we're cheating on us. Or leaving us for somebody else. So it's very hard for our community to find trust and trust people. And open up and talk to people about the things that we really need to talk about. Or even think that someone's going to be there for us. So how do you make friends? I don't know. I don't have the faintest idea. I don't have the. I don't have a clue. I think the best way to 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 make friends. be as present as possible. To be in the present moment. Spend a lot of time getting to know yourself. Healing. From any issues that you may have had or that you still have. Figuring out what went wrong in the past. Knowing what went wrong in the past. How it's still affecting you today. And then working on the steps. Hold on, bro. I'm filming. So. So, yeah. So, I think that's the, uh, I think that's the, I think that's the thing. You know, it's like, once you conquer all those things, and you develop that love within you, you know, um, and you, I totally forgot where I was on this one. That happens to me quite a bit. I'll be very focused and I'll be very present, understanding what I need to convey, and then I'll be thrown off like, you know, my friend coming home, coming up the stairs. You know, I'll be thrown out of that state of knowing what I'm talking about. Now I'm completely off of it. Um, but once you get comfortable with yourself and you can be your best friend, then you don't need people anymore. 
being around people is nice, but you don't need them. And that is the only way to learn social awareness and be okay. Because once you're okay with being by yourself and you can entertain yourself for a 24 hour period a day and you become your, your own best friend, that's like seriously the only way. When you enter that state or when you begin to have that present I can't hear it <laughs> well let's put it this way since I can't concentrate anymore because he's putting on like rhythm of the dance Irish Celtic music across the hall for me uh, let's put it this way The only way, like, I think a lot of us struggle with the, with social awareness and, like, understanding, like, what to say, what not to say, you know, having basic respect for people, you know, uh, or just, like, just knowing, like, when to ask questions, you know, like I always say, Dale Carnegie is a really good one for that, and Carl Rogers is another good one for that. I'll leave their names in the comment section below, so you could look up on how to, you know, engage socially with people. But the only way to engage socially with people is to be in the present moment. If if you can't understand social awareness, if you don't become creation, if you don't become the present moment and awakened you you really you'll never truly understand social awareness and i think a lot of learning social awareness you know is by being present and not having the need to speak as much not having the need to be significant not having the need or the desire for anything not being afraid of anything not being afraid of death because you're in the present moment. There's nothing else. You are creation. And in that state, you could focus on others. You could love others because you've developed this love within yourself. And it happens so naturally. And once you develop that, because you have that love within yourself now, and you have all those other things that I was just mentioning, because you could be in the present moment. And you have that social awareness. And you don't desire anything other than food, shelter, and water. You have this thing about you. Like this love within yourself. You're no longer needy. You're no longer asking for love. You're just here. You're just present. You're just... You just existence. And then people are drawn to you some weird way and like you're not heavy anymore. You're not dramatic. You don't put your problems on them. You don't talk that much. You just you're just there. And when people approach you, you just talk to them naturally and you listen to them and you ask them questions about themselves and then you just listen to them. And everything just works. Everything just flows. It's like a flow state. It's just like this everything just is and that's when people start to become drawn to you that's when you start making friends and the biggest mistake a lot of people make is that they think they start to know everything and they start giving advice do yourself a huge favor don't give advice once you get to that state <laughs> even though you think you know the answers you could lose a lot of friends by giving advice because they don't really want to hear the truth. They know what they need to do most of the time. Like today, one of my friend's friends, he's depressed and he always goes through bouts of depressions. But it's mostly because he doesn't work on healing. And he doesn't work. He doesn't put in the work. And I 
was like, where's so-and-so today? Does he want to hang out since we're just hanging? My buddy was like, nah, he's going through, like, depression. And I was like, yep. And I know this person very well, the person that was depressed. And I was just like, yep, I could pretty much, as a clinical psychologist that is not certified, I could pretty much tell you exactly what he needs to do. But I will not say anything because it's not my right to say anything. But I know what he needs to do. And you probably know what he needs to do. And he probably need, knows what he needs to do. But he just doesn't want to do it right now. And that's just the thing. People just don't want to do it right now. They don't want to put in the hard work. They don't want to put in the effort. They don't want to just deal with the hard problems and face the hard things. They just want to use escapisms Netflix is so dangerous it's entertaining but it's dangerous anything that makes you not focus on what it is you need to focus on is dangerous It may be okay to escape for 15 minutes, but if you escape for an hour to two hours every day, your life is slowly going to turn into chaos. Not just because you're not focusing on what you need to focus on and dealing with the hard problems. It's also because you're losing a lot of time that you could be doing things that you need to focus on and do. And then you could say, well, my dishwasher does those things for me. My washing machine does those things for me. But a true Zen state and a true being state is to do physical labor. Wash it your own dish clean your own shirt that's Zen doing the work being a human that's what it is to be human you eat a dish you do the dish you cook your own food instead of ordering from McDonald's or takeout or a restaurant. You do the work. That's what it is to be human. But we've been lost in comfort. We've lost what it's, what it's like to be a human. The, the element of humanness is escaping us. There is no human left. It's just comfort in things doing things for us. Machines doing things for us. Other people doing things for us. Waitresses doing things for us. Cooks doing things for us. I think we're getting lost. And I think we need to bring our humanness back by eliminating comfort. We've gotten too comfortable. We need to go back. And the more and more we get into comfort, the more and more depression sneaks up on us because we're not living like humans. We're living like these things that don't know what it's like to be human. And we're battling millions of years of being a human. And the reason why we're starting to get depressed is because we're not living like humans anymore. We're trying to create this new species that gets everything done for them. And 
we don't understand. how to use our own bodies anymore. We could use them in the gym. We could lift weights. We could jog on a treadmill. We could jog outside. But we're not really connected to nature as much as we used to be. We're not used to washing dishes and doing laundry by hand like we used to do for thousands of years. We're lost. Dead lizards on the ground. Dead geckos on the ground. Hope you're having a good day.